come on in, pull up a chair and take a load off. Because today, I'll be paging through and taking a first look at Shalt from Corthalus Publishing. So are you as uh, pumped to take a first look at this gonzo science fiction slash fantasy slash post-apocalyptic setting as I am? If so, relax, because we'll be taking a peek right after this. Howdy, 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 gang. Yes, I'm Jeff McAleer, back once again as your host here at the Gaming Gang channel. As I mentioned in the open, I am going to be paging through and taking a first look at Shalt, which is from Corthalus Publishing. It's written by Venger Satanus, with artwork provided by Glenn Seal. Slappy, yes, that is the name. Slappy, Von Stark, Zorono, Yannick Bouchard, Brent Schreiber, Dan Brown, Paul Carrick, Luke Oram, and Matthew Bailey. The book is available right now in hardcover for an MSRP of $60. You can get the PDF from DriveThruRPG for $20. So let's swing on over to the other camera and get our first look at Chalt. Here, I've got the hardcover edition of Chalt. I, I can't even tell you if that's exactly how it should be pronounced, but that is how I'm pronouncing it. It is uh, about 214 pages, I think 216. And as you can see, that this does have a slip cover on it. As we open it up here, oh, look, there's uh, like Venger Satanus' uh, initial. And uh, this is 301 out of 2,000 copies. This is from Court Thalus Publishing. You want to mention that uh, this is old school renaissance, revival, whatever you want that R to stand for. This is kind of a gonzo science fantasy setting. I think it's a little more leaning towards science fiction than it is the fantasy side of things. Uh, and Court Thalus does usually have like nudity and things like that in their books. If I run across something like that, I'm going to zip right past it because I don't want anybody freaking out on YouTube. So just uh, just to inform you, we're going to pop on through here. So this is this is kind of a setting and a mega dungeon is my understanding. Now, Sammy did a review of the PDF. And of course, every reviewer is going to be different. and uh, Wenger was kind enough to send me a hard copy, so at least I can show everybody the, the actual book itself. And I'll tell you right now, this, the paper stock is really nice. This is, this is very, very nicely done. Tell you what, the paper stock's better than what you see from Wizards of the Coast or from Paizo. So not to say that there's a bad, I'm just saying that, I mean, this stock is really thick. This is really nice. We're going to get a bigger background. I don't really know much about this whatsoever outside of it being like a gonzo science fantasy. There is a mega dungeon to this. I believe there is a, a new expansion to this. Now, keep in mind, this is a setting as well as a mega dungeon. It is not a game system per se. So it's telling us about different areas. Pretty cool artwork, nice layouts. So let's kind of take a look here. It looks as if this is, uh, I don't think this is 5e. I gotta be honest, I don't think this is gonna be 5e, but I do think that this is probably going to be um, along the lines of, say, Swords and Wizardry, maybe even first edition. D and D because we are seeing the saves, we are seeing uh, armor class. I'm taking a guess this might be swords and wizardry. So oh, there's an image we're gonna just move right past. So spider droids, and of course with many 
OSR releases, we tend to have a lot of random charts. Here's for creating names. Uh, advantage and disadvantage. But wait a second. I looks like I'm wrong. It looks like this this maybe is a bit of a rules system as well. Or just uh eh, Yeah, I, I guess really super basic advantage and disadvantage, saving throws. Talking about critical success and failure. But of course, seeing that this is an OSR type of release, then obviously enough, you are going to be able to easily port this over to just about any system you would like. So we have uh, the City of the Purple Demon Worm. I'm not going to try to pronounce all, all these things. So taking a look through here. So, so far, uh, to open the book, it looks as if we get uh, some different areas here. So I think this city might be where uh, the characters will start off as far as, oh, here we go. Here's the map. As far as uh, preparing to jump into that mega dungeon. So here we've got the map there. So inside the frozen violet demon worm. So we got random NPCs talking about some notes about the worm itself. Mm, there you go. <laughs> pretty, pretty big uh, monstrosity there. Yo ho ho. Old pirate ship, specifically a French frigate. Okay. I don't believe that this setting is supposed to be Earth uh, following a great apocalypse or anything like that. Even though it's kind of funny it's that there's a French frigate. Although it is possible that uh, there could be uh, ways for explorers to uh to to go through different dimensions or what have you. So there we've got uh the map here. So that's inside the demon worm. Gamma Incel Cantina. Uh I will point out that uh there are people who have a problem with Wenger's politics. I gotta be super honest, I don't know a whole lot about his politics. Uh, but I am also of the uh, the understanding that I don't necessarily have to agree with someone's politics to like uh, some of the games that they create. So th then again, I mean, if you're, if somebody's like a really horrible person, then I don't, I absolutely do not support uh, their products. Okay, so here we go. Looks like I was completely wrong. Because there's a yield sign. So I guess Chaalt is supposed to be a future Earth. See, there you go. Well, that's why we're doing a page through. Because I know nothing about this. So I think we're getting into the uh, the Mega Dungeon now. Because we got Wandering Monsters. And I believe there is also quite a bit of satire involved in this release as well. Like I said, it's supposed to be pretty gonzo. Through here, looks like uh, there might be different factions. All right, so now we start getting into the Black Pyramid, which is the Mega Dungeon. So, going through pretty much uh, a breakdown. So, one thing I will point out, I don't see anything where it's like... Uh, Big, long paragraphs of read aloud or anything like that. We are seeing that um, there are different creatures in the different areas as well. So for an example, here we've got the beach. As soon as the PCs step into this room, they are transported to a beautiful sandy beach with an expansive ocean view. The wreckage of an airplane is strewn along the shoreline. Is that supposed to be like lost? Uh, I don't know. Uh, investigating reveals several pieces of sea glass and a water damaged zine 
Laying in the Sand. It's issue five of Last Days of Freedom, containing a short story about the, the Arma Initiative. Various hatchways leading to other rooms can be found nearby. After several minutes, a scream is heard in the distance. A giant crab is attacking a woman down the shore. The crab emerged from the water to drag her back down with it. So, uh, and it talks about the giant crab, as well as Marisala, who is the woman. So, it looks like we get the nice kind of bite-sized chunks for each of these areas, each of these rooms, to kind of give you an idea of what's going on. As opposed to, you'll see some of the uh, I guess less entertaining <laughs> adventures out there. We'll have a ton of read, ab- read aloud, which everybody knows your players don't pay attention to too much read aloud. Uh, they start tuning out if you start just reading a lecture to them. Uh, and it looks like we've got some, uh, some bullet points as well. This looks like this might be pretty easy to run at the table. Kind of continuing along. Well, uh, uh, that wasn't, uh, this wasn't anything full frontal there. <laughs> Got to zip through that. This is pretty cool. Uh, looks pretty interesting, The Last Supper. So we've got a, another level of the, uh, the Black Pyramid. I like the concept of mega dungeons i have never run a mega dungeon i just wonder what it would how it breaks out as far as uh your players you know because you figure a mega dungeon is going to go on for quite a long time and uh i don't know i mean i just i honestly don't know now granted i have run plenty of campaigns that have run really really long a year in length but uh, well, we're talking like massive Nair Lothotep for Call of Cthulhu, so it wasn't like the setting was constantly the same. Although with most mega dungeons, things do change as, uh, as you progress through the different levels. So looks like we've got quite a few areas. I wonder if we're going to end up with about 100 areas overall. Let's see, the Funhouse Mirrors. Candy-colored horror. The alien chat. Okay. So I got a feeling we might run into an even hundred here. Uh, hopefully we're looking at the... Ooh, Shoggoth Sphinx. Hopefully we're looking at some uh, interactivity in these rooms where it's not always having to fight stuff. Because uh, to me, that's, that's old school. Old school is a, you know, you don't want to fight everything because... You're going to die if you do that. Uh, the uh, mortality rate is so much higher in old role-playing games, uh, old-school role-playing games, even, you know, Fantasy Heartbreakers, that uh, as opposed to nowadays, or even like 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons, first-level characters are pretty, pretty tough, not easy to knock off, uh, unless, you know, the dungeon master sets out to do that. Okay, so I guess we have ended up with a few more than 100. I thought maybe we we're going to end up at an even 100 areas here. So 111. We'll get an afterward. An appendix. Crimson Dragon Slayer D20, which I believe is the Court Hollis publishing uh, fantasy role-playing game. That's their system. So it looks like this is kind of a, uh, well, this is kind of a introduction to it. Kind of give me an idea. Of course, this was successfully kickstarted. So we've got the backers, got a little more artwork. So as I said, science fantasy. Uh, like I said, I also believe it skews a bit more towards the science fiction realm as well so we'll finish up with an index and all in all yeah 216 pages there we go so i will have a review of course of alt in the very near future but at least there's a page through 
and a first look. So let's swing on back to the other camera. There you have the first look at Show Alt from Court Ballas Publishing. There is a review from Sammy up on thegaminggang.com for Chalt. I am also going to do a video review of the book as well. That'll be in the very near future. RPG books tend to take me a little bit longer to get reviews out there for, but I expect I should have that out there probably within the next two weeks, three weeks tops. So keep your eyes peeled. And once again, keep in mind, that the Chalt hardcover is available for an MSRP of $60, and it is available over from our friends at DriveThruRPG for $20. That's it for this time out. Don't forget, catch me live right here on YouTube, Mondays through Friday nights at 7 p.m. Central, as I bring you the Daily Dope and the latest tabletop gaming news of the day. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, and if you do, don't forget, ring that little bell, because it will not only notify you when I upload standalone videos such as this, as well as my reviews and interviews and other page throughs and unboxings and convention coverage, etc. It will also tell you when the Daily Dope goes live, within about a minute or so. And of course, when you're not watching videos on the Gaming Gang channel, be sure to visit thegaminggang.com. For all the latest in gaming news, reviews, comics, movies, TV, you know the drill. Get your geek gun at thegaminggang.com. And of course, until next time, happy trails. Whoa, hey. <laughs> I didn't realize that you were still here. Well, if that's the case, then allow me to share the following information with you that I only have 20 seconds to do. So let's all take a deep breath. <gasps> so if you would like to subscribe to the Gaming Gang channel, please click right here. If you want to check out the latest episode of The Daily Dope, click right here. And if you'd like to check out a randomly selected standalone video, by all means, click right here. Once again, I'm Jeff McAleer, and thanks for watching. <laughs>